What's up everybody? Brian from MVK Reptiles here and today it's all about hatching snakes. So our breeding season is pretty much over. We're collecting our second clutches right now and we're actually starting to hatch our first babies, basically the colubrids of the season. So the first babies that we that we hatch are always king snakes. So today we're going to be showing showcasing you guys a bunch of babies. So let's just dive right in. Let's show, show you guys a bunch of babies. So first of all, we have a awesome clutch of some awesome looking baby high white California king snakes. Now these guys are so stunning because the contrast on them is just simply beautiful. Um, I've been working on getting nicer and nicer genetics with my high white projects over the years because my lineage has been getting a little bit old and I felt that the their gene pool was a little bit weaker. So I ended up a few years back contacting my buddy Stefan from Reptilis down in France and he basically supplied me with a few female high white kings. And I basically outbred my gene pool with his to try to create a stronger gene pool. Now, unfortunately, uh, we can definitely see that uh, there is one snake right here that has a kink tail. Now, uh, when we breed a lot of, uh, when we hatch out so many babies like we do, uh, these things happen so i mean uh, unfortunately this animal is not uh for the for the market uh, we always we don't like to waste so i mean these are king snakes and king snakes are known to be snake eaters so unfortunately uh, animals that are uh, deformed uh, end up uh, being used to feed some other animals unfortunately it's recycling but, Definitely recycling. Yes. So you see these are the ones that I like the most So I what I would want like in future generations would be the animal to be completely white and then with all those black spots like as like deep black as possible. I Mean how beautiful is that? So now high white kings are one of the animals that in our breeding that is like definitely the most popular so when we post a picture of high white kings, uh, we get so many calls, so many texts, basically people inquiring about these animals. Now we only have a few, a few animals that will become available. So we want to be able to give an exclusive exclusivity, basically, to our YouTube viewers. So if you're viewing this video and a high white cow king is for you, we're actually offering them for two hundred dollars. Okay. I mean, it's it's a cheaper price than what we normally sell them. You'd probably be able to get them for around 300 Canadian, but we're gonna be asking as a YouTube special for $200 for what we have. So we're basically, I'm gonna be keeping maybe like one male, one female, and then uh, we're gonna be offering some other ones to you guys. So we're gonna have a very few. So make sure that if ever you do see this video and you're interested in those, send us a message, say that you saw uh, us posting about those high white cow kings and that you're interested in them, and then we'll go from there. I mean, uh, I'm sure Antoine's gonna want some as well. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll so, take uh, a dozen. Yeah, he's gonna have to message me through YouTube too, yeah. We'll so, all right, so let's get to the second clutch of the day. Now, this one here is a little bit different because it's something that I haven't worked with much. So they're Florida king snakes. Uh, I haven't worked with many morphs of the Florida king snake world. Uh, I have a lot of friends that love these guys, but I mean, so these are, Snow Florida King Snakes. Um, <clears throat> we basically bred a anery head snow with a visual snow. So I was expecting maybe like half of them to be anneries and the other half to be snows. But luckily for me, I seem to have a lot more snows. But there is this weird one right here that is much darker. Um, this one here, I'm very, I'm, I am a little confused. I mean, maybe some of you guys will be able to help me out because when I look at the pupae, pupils, they do look like a little bit pink as well, so I'm guessing like it might be an albino, but it definitely is very different. So I mean, odds are everything would be uh, exanthic. I'm guessing maybe this one here is another uh, variety of albino, um, but I mean, I'm gonna have to make some research and see how it is, but I mean, just the fact that it looks different makes me like this one a lot more. So we're talking about holdbacks, holdbacks, and holdbacks. But these are very, very cool. I can't wait to see when they shed out. So that's it for this one here. Now, what we do uh, once we once we pull them out from uh, once they hatched out, uh, we basically 
uh, set up some uh, bins with, with moss, and then we, we put them in with a little bit of water. We wait till they shed, and then the feeding cycle starts. Now here, I'm gonna showcase three at the same time. And these are the Mexican black cases. So there's nothing better than some jet black king snakes. And everybody that knows me knows I love myself black. You love yourself? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not that much, but I, I, love, I, I love black animals. I mean, my Dark Knight, uh, like Black Knight Leopard Echoes, the Mexican black kings are definitely apart from my favorite. We've been breeding Mexican black kings for 20 years, if not more. And I mean, we've been working to produce them uh, as dark and as black as possible. I mean, they're just jet black, beautiful, and they're one of the most sought out after king snakes in the world right now, which is incredible because about 10 years from 10 years ago, we used to sell these guys for twenty dollars for this one here. Oh, he bit me. He's got an attitude. I love a snake with attitude. Not too much attitude, but baby snakes is cute. <laughs> but yeah, so 10 years ago, we used to sell them for about $20 and now they're going for around $300. I mean, I've never in all the years that I've been doing this business, I've never had any other species of animal that have like went down in prices and go back up that much like uh, percentage wise. Just simply beautiful. We have, uh, we hatch out about maybe about 100 Mexican Black Kings a year. Uh, we have about 30 here, maybe a little bit less, and we're expecting a lot more clutches in the future. And I mean, this is simply beautiful. I, I, I love days like this where you come in and then all the babies are hatching out. I mean, there's nothing better than coming in, having hatching snakes and stuff. So here, this is getting a little bit exciting for you guys. Uh, they're Mexican Black Kings as well, but if you look at them, they definitely don't look like Mexican black kings. Now, years ago, uh, I'm gonna make this quick, but because I'm gonna have to make a few a few videos about explaining where all these come from. But basically, we call it our red belly project. Now, the red belly project, I will showcase to you why, is because there's a lot of red on the belly. So they have a lot of scales that is very red. See this one a little bit less. Now let's see this. Yeah, here we go. We can see it really well. So we call it the Red Belly Project. So this project started with maybe about 10 years, like maybe like eight years ago. Um, I had a Mexican black king with like one red spot on the belly. It was just black, but it had like one red spot. And I said, you know what? Why not try to get a black and red snake? And year after year, I basically bred them together and try to produce some babies. So sometimes I had a little bit more uh, red on, on the babies, but as I've been growing them, then this had happened to be the result of breeding the two red bellies together. So it's definitely confusing because when you're breeding for genetics and mutations like we do on a daily basis, you're expecting to, to see something that you'll actually recognize. So for me here, all I see is a desert, cal a desert king like a Splendida, or a Speckled King, or a little bit of Florida in there, or some not. So it just shows to me that king snakes have been so, like, basically like intertwined, like genetically, like subspecies wise, uh, in the wild. So I mean, even though I had a jet black king snakes, like jet black Mexican black kings, they still, like maybe percentage wise, carried a small bit of DNA from desert kings or speckled kings. And that red scale is basically what is coming out out of this clutch. So nonetheless, I mean, they're definitely beautiful. We're gonna work on producing, we've been producing those for maybe like two years now. And we're gonna work on like getting that red, like to become like more and more intense, you know? So we're gonna be selectively breeding these little mutts into producing some awesome looking animals. So it's definitely interesting, but we like them nonetheless, and it's gonna be fun. The craziest part is that this comes from a jet black animal to a jet black animal. Yeah, that, that is definitely crazy. That's insane, honestly. Here we go. So now, that's pretty much it. Um, 
I have one more clutch to showcase to you guys. And um, this is just gonna be basically a, uh, teaser. a, a little glimpse. It's a little teaser because we're gonna have to go really, really deep into it. Um, with our Mexican blacks, like I said, we've been producing them for over 20 years. And our goal has always been about producing jet black Mexican blacks. I mean, it's so important because a lot of people, they don't want any freckles. They want like that black snake. So that's what we've been doing. And I mean, it's the same genetics, same lineage that we've been working for 20 years. It's our same thing. So everything, uh, maybe like, I don't know, like maybe six, seven years ago, things popped up. Uh, it never pulled through. But today, I'm going to showcase to you guys something. It is just simply incredible. It's a big day today. Um, we call this the Zebra Project. Now, here we go. We see one black, Mexican black, which is basically, we're going to have to dig deep in today on here. And then another one here. Oh, I'm going to get dirty now. You like it. There we go. So this is a little bit of something that we're talking about here. You can see like some white freckles on the sides. That's different than the other clutch you just showed. Yeah, which the other clutch, there's a lot of a yellowish color to them. And the red and, belly. And the red belly. Now these ones here, they don't have anything that is red and they're making it really hard for me to pull through. Go. But here we go. So this is one that showcase here. Now, I think it's gonna be worth it for me to go wash those up. I'm just gonna go wash them up. Here we go, look at this. Now this is a blackhead python right here. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna let you witness this. They're perfectly healthy looking animals bred from two fully black Mexican black kings. So that's the Zebra Mexican Black Project. And we're talking about the Zebra Mexican Black Project, yes. And you can see the zebra, why we're calling it like this. But uh, definitely a lot more to learn. And that is it for today. And I mean, when I see things like this, that you work so hard and we've been pulling out some of these little babies like for a few years, uh, trying to outbreed them, trying to make sure that the genetic is good, but we know that we're working with it. I mean, it makes me so happy. All it makes me want to do is just like, it's just like dance a little bit, you know? A little dance, a little Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, Friday night. So anyway, so guys, this is how we are here. We're having fun, this is awesome. We're proving things out that have never been done before. I have no idea what we're gonna be do doing with this project, it's so awesome. I'm gonna make sure you stay tuned, subscribe on this channel, click the like button. You're gonna see some awesome stuff. This has never been done. I mean, these are first in the world. We've been working on them. It's awesome. I mean, until then, thanks for watching and no stress.